from St. Paul's Paul Tassett News. I'm Ella Elizabeth and I'll be giving you an interview with a young man named John Yatchman. John will be telling us what, how he thinks schools had changed from when he went to school. I will be asking him a few questions for him to answer. John! Good morning, John. Good morning, Eleanor. Are you up for some school-tastic questions? Yes, I am. Let's get started. What is your date of birth and age? My date of birth is April 1975 and I'm 36 years old. What school did you attend? I went to Burwash Primary School in East Sussex. How do you think schools have changed? I think schools are more multicultural, they're more diverse, they have a lot more technology and they have a lot more health and safety. Have schools got bigger or smaller in your opinion? Schools have definitely got bigger to deal with the growing population. Were well, teachers stricter than they are today and were children better behaved? Teachers were definitely stricter than they are today, but I believe children behave exactly the same today. What lessons did you have? We had English, Geography, Maths, PE and Religious Education. How many break times did you have and how long were they? We had two break times. We had one about 10, 30, 11 in the morning and that was about 25 minutes. And then we had an hour's lunch break. What did you do at break times? We'd play chase, hide and seek, sometimes kids chase. We'd play marbles and cars. Did you ever have school trips and what were they? Yes, we had school trips. My, one of my favourite trips was a French trip where we went to Dieppe. And on this French trip we had to interact with local school children. We went to a French market and we had to speak as much French as we could whilst we was there and collect as many things with French writing on, such as wrappers from receipts and create a scrapbook at the end. What types of food did you have and how did it differ? The school food we had then is probably the same as today. We had lots of fresh vegetables, we would eat fruit, we would drink lots of water and we'd have things like fish pie, we'd have chicken pies and we'd also have some roast dinners and things like toad in a hole with gravy. Did you have ICT? Yes, we did, but we didn't call it ICT then, and I remember we had some BBC computers, but we didn't have many in our school, so we had to take your turns in our classes. Did you have to wear a uniform? We did. I had a horrible brown and yellow uniform, and it's nothing as smart as today, such as your St Paul's uniform. Did you do outside learning activities? Yes, we did. It was a very important part of our education. Our school backed onto a churchyard and fields, and we had lots of different trees, and we would have lots of different wildlife, wildflowers, and we would learn all about those, such as birds, foxes, rabbits, and how they live within our surroundings and humans live together. It was good fun and very important to us. Did you have any school rules and were there any punishments for breaking them? Yes, we did have school rules, and yes, there was punishments. If we was in class and we ignored our teacher and we carried on talking or misbehaving, we'd get a ruler smacked across our knuckles. So, we didn't misbehave very often when that happened. If you was really naughty, you'd get sent to the headmaster and you would get the slipper on the bum. And you really didn't like that, because that hurt. And for other naughty things, you would have your name read out as an assembly and you'd have to stand up and say what you did and apologise to the whole school. Were you allowed to bring in your own games and toys? Yes, we was allowed to bring our own games and toys, but I think parents and schools don't generally allow it too much today. Well, thank you for joining us today, John. I hope you had a good time. I had a very nice time. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Well, from talking to John Yatchman, we can tell, we can conclude that there are strong differences between and many similarities between schools of today and schools from a couple of decades ago. 
Schools have changed with the times. They are more multicultural and diverse, and they are safer due to strict health and safety rules. And as a result, children do not enjoy as much freedom. Schools today have lots of technology and would find it hard to run without as it is um, integrated within every part of a school function. Schools have definitely got bigger to accommodate growing populations. Teachers were stricter but children's behaviour does not appear to have changed. School lessons may have slightly different names but appear to be the same, perhaps just different approaches to make lessons more interesting and fun. School children did enjoy more trips as part of uh, as their learning. Children did bring toys in school, but many schools and parents don't allow it. Outside learning activities were definitely considered important in John's school days. Children played more, but soon made games at break time. Knowing about the natural environment and wildlife surrounding you was a very important part of learning. I hope you have found. I hope you have enjoyed finding out a few bits of how schools have changed. Thank you for watching St. Paul's Paul Tacit News. Goodbye for now.